Hello friends, this video on areas of parallelogram and triangles part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. If x, y is a line parallel to side bc of the triangle abc, so first let me erase here. x, y is a line parallel to side bc. So x, y is a line parallel to side bc of the triangle abc. B is parallel to AC. B is parallel to AC. It is AC, AC. So it is not BB. BB is parallel to AC. And CF is parallel to AB. CF, AB. It has to be something like this. CF is parallel to AB. Meets X and Y. At E and F respectively. So that area of ABE is ABD, ABE. So the triangle area of ABE is equal to ACF. To prove that this is the case. And what is given? Given is BE is parallel to AC. B is parallel to AC. So B is parallel to AC and CF is parallel to AB. Okay. So let me notice that here EB is parallel to AC. Right? And also EF. Can you see that it, uh, this is these are parallels? These are parallels. If you take this from the common side, it's one line here, one parallel here. You can see that area of A, B, E is equal to half of area of this parallel B, C, Y. x, y is parallel to bc, okay. right? So this line, or let me talk, this line is parallel to this line. This line is parallel to this line. Let's draw the parallels. And these lines are parallel to this line. So solve the question for bc. So with this, you can see that this line is parallel to this line. This parallel is parallel to this line. So you can write that b, c, y, e is parallel. Similarly, you can see that B, C, F, X is also parallel. Okay. Now, if you see area of triangle A, B, E, the only thing I can make out is you see there are two parallels, so this will be half of area of this parallel, B, C, Y. That is the only thing I can make out from. Theorem which we have studied. The area of triangle AC here, AC here, and also we have of the area of this parallel, BC, FX. Right? Can we make it equal? So to make it equal, we have to prove that BC, YE, this parallel, and this parallel, and BC, FX area is equal. And they are actually right. So we can see that. Area of BC by E is equal to the area of BC FX. Why? They are on the same base and the same parallel. So divide by 2 also will be equal. If you divide by 2, you will get this equation. Using equation 1, 2, and 3, you can say that area of triangle ABE. Because the area of triangle AB is nothing but half of BC by e. area of ACF is half of BC by e. half of these are equal. Correct? I think joining making this parallel line actually helps to visualize it. The sides AB of the 
Parallelogram A, B, C. Produce to a point B a line through A and parallel to C D. C D. So that's from G. Okay. So I need to needs needs C D produced to Q and then the parallelogram E to D R. So this P here. P to D R. This is also parallel on their same. It's complete. So we have to prove that area of ABCD with ABCD, ABCD is equal to area of this triangle, parallel P to the R. So let's try to prove it. So we have three sets of parallels. This one. See that these two triangles, uh, quadrilateral or parallel, we have to prove they are uh, equal in area. If we prove that these two triangles are equal in area, we can actually double these two triangles in area and we can say that these two quadrilaterals are also equal. I mean, it's going by reverse direction. So we divide by 2, I can say that the area of triangle ABC has to be equal to the area of triangle BP. Let's see if we can prove it. Just fine. Okay. Now I'll take this area and this triangle, and then if you notice that these two sides are parallel. Okay. So if you add this, you make this as one. So it's two and two is three. So we have to prove that the area of one is equal to the area of three. So in both cases, if you add three, the area of one plus the area of two. This will be the backward direction. So area 1 plus 3 to see area of triangle this, and area 2 plus 3 will be area of this triangle, ABQ. Right? So let's write it. Area of 1 plus 3 is what? Area of triangle ACQ. And area of 2 plus 3 is what? ABQ. Now if you notice ACQ and ABQ, both are on the same base AQ and they are in the same parallel because CP is parallel to AQ. Thus they are equal. Now we can go in the reverse direction. Right? So we can go in the reverse direction. That was the calculation. So let's solve in this direction. Area of ACQ is area of ABQ. Why? Same base AQ and different same balance. Okay. Now area of ACQ is what? area of 3 plus area of 1 and APQ is what? area of 3 plus area of 2 it's cancelled so area of 1 is equal to area of 3 right so I can say twice of area of 1 is equal to twice of area of 2 and twice of area of 1 is what? area of ABCD and twice of area of 2 is what? You just have to draw this arrow and then visualize how to solve the problem. Not very difficult, but understand you just spend, spend some time to understand how to solve it. Diagonal AC and BD of trapezium ABCD. So just we put ABCD here in this trapezium. And the diagonal AC and BD of this trapezium with AB is parallel to CD intersect each other at To prove that area of AOD and BOC is the same. So let me prove this as 1 this is 2. So we do prove that area of 1 is equal to area of 2. That will be 3. Same logic what we did. Again, area of 1 plus 3 is what area of this triangle and area of 2 plus 3 is area of this triangle. And both the triangle area is same. Right? Because they are the same base and in the same pattern. So I can start with this. Area of ADC is equal to area of 
ACB, right? Same base, AB, and we will spin back. Why? Right? Because this is parallel. So area of radius is what? Area of one plus area of three. Area of ACB is what? Area of two plus area of two. So it will cancel. So area of one is equal to area of two. And area of one is what? Area of two. And area of two is what? Area of two. And then what I do? A B C D is a pentagon. Okay, a line through A, a line through B, parallel to A C leads. Okay, so that means these two lines are parallel. That's all zero. So we have to prove that A C D, A C D and A C F both are equal to zero. It will be happy, right? We just have shown this kind of uh, A, C, B, and A, C, F both have common base. Common A, C, B, and A, C, F. So we can draw it. So A, C, B. Both you see common base and they are in the same parallel, so they will be high Z. Okay, so we can write this, I can write that area of ACB will be equal to area of ACF. Just reason BC is, I mean, AC is a common base. Same parallel. The parallel is AC and BF. First part of that. Second part. You have to prove that A, E, D, F. Area of A, E, D, F. We get the area of A, B, C, A, B, C, D, E. Okay. A, B, E, D, C, F. And that is easy, right? Because if you see this is area of 1, in the same equation, if you add this big area A, E, D, C, okay? or A, C, D, E, whatever you add, same. So let's add in the same equation, let's, let's add this common area part. On the left hand side, similarly, we will write A, C, D, add A, C, D. Both side are valid. So A B C plus A C D is what? A B C D E. So this A B C D E. Similarly, A C F plus A C D is what? A F B E or A E D F. And that is what I have to prove. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.